president already has the authority to use American military forces offensively anywhere on the planet for any reason he wants for up to 90 days. He does because of a Nixon-era piece of legislation, which was enacted over President Nixon's veto, called the War Powers Resolution, which lets the president do that. He has to report to Congress, but they can't stop him from doing it unless he wants to extend the troops beyond 90 days. They can uh, bring the troops back. And the president knows he has this authority. So he must be going to the Congress for reasons other than to get the legal authority. He must be going to them for political support because I think he understands the country is war weary. And you know, when you go look back and you look at the history of the War Powers Act, obviously it was enacted after Vietnam. Uh, the world was very war weary. The United States was war weary. They didn't want to find themselves pulled into a quagmire, quagmire as, as Vietnam was called. Uh, and this was enacted to, in some ways, to, to prevent that from happening again, to give the president a bit of a check and balance if he decides to get, uh, you know, into an incursion on his own volition. You know, as I view the Constitution, and, and there's great support for this in the, in the uh, Supreme Court cases, the Congress can't take power that the Constitution gave to it, the Congress, and give it away to the President. Because the Constitution very clearly limits war making, deciding who to attack to the Congress. War waging, deciding how to attack, belongs to the president. Yet President Nixon, you put your finger on this, vetoed this for the opposite reason. He vetoed it because 90 days was too short, because he wanted to wage war for as long as it, talk, talk, uh, as long as it would take to win the war. But yet the Supreme Court, not on this issue, but on the issue of Congress giving away powers the Constitution gave to it, said, you can't do that. The, the Congress could no more let the president wage war or, or, or decide who to fight in a war than the president could let the Congress appoint federal judges. Otherwise, the Constitution would be meaningless.